Um, because, you know, we've all heard the story of the guy I call like the original Bitcoin guy. Uh, he bought two pizzas for what was it? Was it like 10,000 Bitcoin or something like that? Yeah, it was 10,000, I think. Yes. OK, so this guy buys uh, two pizzas for 10,000 Bitcoin. And I, I'm I'm grateful for that guy. I'm glad he did that. That is the person who started the ball rolling on mass adoption right there, as far as I'm concerned. Because if he didn't buy those two pizzas for 10,000 Bitcoin, uh, my one little casacious coin here would, I, I wouldn't even be able to buy a slice of pepperoni with it. So his sacrifice led to all of our benefit. And eventually <laughs> it will... <laughs> Yeah, that's one way to look at it. That's a, that's the that's, that's what that's how I look at. It. I say that guy made the sacrifice so that we could all play along. Satoshi did some great work in math, but that guy that got hungry one night and bought two pieces with ten thousand Bitcoin, you're the real MVP. Yeah. <laughs> I I heard he's doing pretty well. I think he had um, quite a lot of Bitcoin. So um, I read a follow up article that. He's living pretty large, so I don't think he took that much of a hit. But that is still a pretty big hit. That is. At the time, it wasn't like, I don't know, Bitcoin was like less than a penny or something like that in value. I mean, it all starts from nothing. And the only way it gains value is that people trade it. 